there's a person who clicked on this video who was concerned about the thoughts they've been having, okay? You've been having a lot of intrusive thoughts, a lot of dark thoughts, and they're starting to concern you. And you may have been the type of person who feels like they have to be so perfect and they're not allowed to do anything wrong. They are, you may be even very apologetic towards people. Like you just feel like even your thoughts are like have to be perfect. Okay. That's your confirmation for whoever this is for. One, please understand not all thoughts are yours. Okay. And two, I want you to start being more honest with yourself about the thoughts that you're having. Okay. Because if you're having these dark intrusive thoughts, you should be able to recognize if that thought came from you, even if it's your lower self, or if that thought came from somewhere else, okay? You need to know who you are, all right? Now, just because you have these intrusive dark thoughts doesn't mean that you have to act on them, okay? That's the most important part, but you should be able to acknowledge yourself. That is you. Do not lie to yourself. People who lie to themselves end up becoming crazy, okay? You will go insane lying to yourself, all right? We talk about these karmics on this channel who are delusional, bad delusional, who lie to themselves and end up in crazy situations and scenarios and all types of things. When you have these thoughts, I don't care what type of thought it is, you need to take a moment for people who are overthinkers, who have these intrusive thoughts, take a moment and think about this thought. But I want you to observe, not absorb observe this thought was this you is this how you truly feel if it's how you truly feel own it no one can read your mind no one can get inside your head nobody is judging you about these thoughts that you're having it's okay to have these thoughts you just need to be honest with yourself this is how i feel own your shadow side okay this is why shadow work is important and this is why like i always talk about learning who you are and the journey of the journey of self-love and Understanding who you are at your core. Know thyself. Know who you are so nobody can tell you who you are. Own these thoughts that you're having. Own these feelings that you're having. Like, honor them, okay? So again, whoever you are, you have been concerned about these intrusive thoughts that you're having. I want to come and tell you that they're normal. You're not crazy. There's nothing wrong with you, especially because you have enough control not to act on them, okay? There are people in this world who have intrusive thoughts and they're impulsive. They can't control themselves and they act on every intrusive thought that they have, okay? You're just human. There's so many, like you are not alone, honey. There are millions and millions of people in this world who have dark intrusive thoughts and they're like, oh my God, where did that just come from? Either you have to recognize it's not you or recognize it was you and it's not a big deal, okay? You are your biggest project. You are, you should love yourself. You should really nurture yourself and care for yourself like you would a child or how you treat other people. You may be the type of person you treat other people better than you treat yourself. Stop doing that, okay? You should treat yourself better than you treat everybody else. And it doesn't mean that you're mean to everybody. It just means that I'm going to put me first. I'm going to love on me first. I'm going to give to myself first because I need to be good to give to others, correct? So speak to yourself kindly. That's something I'm working on also. Talk to yourself with respect. Show yourself respect and don't ignore those parts of yourself that are real. Those are real parts of yourself. Those those dark parts. And again, the reason is so important, one, because you want to know who you are, but two, you will go crazy. And I just want to stress that to somebody, you will go insane if you do not acknowledge the, those real parts of yourself. You have to be okay with acknowledging every version of you, okay, and give love to it so you can grow and you can elevate in this life. And you can look back and see how far you came, right? We are here on a journey, okay? It's a journey of spirits. When we have these spiritual awakenings, um, that's that's you awakening to your spirit. Everybody's spirit is not the same. Yes, we are all connected to the Holy Spirit and to God, of course, and I can get real deep in that, but I'm not today. <laughs> we are all connected to one source energy, which is what makes us one, right? But we all still have our own individual spirit that is separate from everyone else. And that spiritual awakening is about that. When you have a spiritual awakening, it's not just about you. I don't know. You start watching channel messages and you start um, meditating and all that cute stuff. It's not just about that. Some of y'all don't even need to meditate. It's not just about that. It's about awakening to who you are at your core, okay? Not this physical... Not this vessel that we're in, but who we are. 
the our god like self okay so that's so important for so many reasons like it gets very deep but those little things like you acknowledging your dark thoughts and you doing your shadow work and you learning who you are and you loving on yourself all of that goes hand in hand you are not perfect you do not have to be perfect you do not have to have a perfect thought all the time okay you do not have to be perfect all the time you don't have to you can have a moment you can get in your feelings you can get upset you can get angry there's a big huge misconception with spiritual people that say that spiritual people are not allowed to get angry what we're not allowed to get angry we're not allowed to get sad we gotta be perfect all the time we gotta be on our p's and q's that is not what it means to be spiritual okay it's not about you being perfect do not ever let somebody tell you that oh she say she's so spiritual but she be going off or she just cussed this person out yeah and that's why i like the name the spiritual baddie because for those of you who don't know who haven't been a follower of mine for too long I chose that name not it has nothing to do with how I look okay it's about me embodying everything I am everything I'm every woman I am a spiritual baddie it's like a um a play on words basically like you can be a bitch sometimes but you're also really nurturing you're you're a mother but you're also a boss you're also somebody who is like very um sensual and sexual like you you love your body and you embrace your sexuality um you may be somebody who is super zen and like a hippie and you may smoke weed or you may be a party girl like you are all of those things that's what a spiritual baddie is okay but in order for you to get to that point you have to learn to start accepting every single version of yourself and do not ever let anybody tell you that you cannot be all of these things because you are spiritual this is why i love spirituality it does not put you in a box there is no box if you try to put me in a box i'm gonna kick the box down okay you cannot put this collective in a box we are everything okay and that's what you're meant to be embrace your dark side it's crying <laughs> it's crying out to you okay and i know some of you think that dark side is something bad it's not your dark side is like your subconscious like your subconscious your subconscious thoughts your subconscious beliefs i talk about in the book that's coming out next month transmute and empower i will release the release date soon but i talk about in that book that i feel like our dark side of us a lot for a lot of us it comes from childhood okay then maybe the trauma the pain the experiences that we went through as a child created this shadow side of us okay almost like really like a way of protection the childlike version of you that experienced this pain and this trauma created this shadowy side of yourself but that shadow you <laughs> that shadowy is that even a word i don't know that shadowy side of yourself is not bad, okay? It just needs to be controlled. It just needs to be heard and understood and given love, okay? And that is why shadow work is so important, okay? It's so, so important, all right? So again, just to reiterate, you do not have to be perfect. You do not have to have a perfect thought. You do not have to be perfect this perfect person all the time i'm sorry to whoever made you feel like you have to be but screw them okay they are not you they do not have to walk in your shoes or live the life that you do okay be you be you and if you don't know who you are take time with yourself to learn who you are and a part of that is acknowledging every thought that comes up okay observing it don't absorb it don't act on it but acknowledge it like, okay, I agree with that. Okay, I don't agree with that. That's me. Ha ha ha. Whatever. Don't don't think too deep into what I'm saying, okay? Don't think too deep. Just do the opposite of what you've been doing and stop trying to um, change that thought into something that you know is not you. I tell you guys about transmutation and how you can change a negative thought to a positive one. I'm not talking about that. That's different, okay? I hope y'all understand exactly what I'm saying. That's completely different. There's a difference between transmuting a thought that's negative, that's not you. Like you saying, oh, I'm a dummy. Like, no, I'm actually very intelligent. Let me stop talking to myself like that. That's transmutation of a thought. What I'm speaking on for whoever this is for, you are just not acknowledging your dark side. It's not something that necessarily has to be transmuted. It's just something that needs to be acknowledged because that's a real part of you, okay? And you need to stop lying to yourself because you'll go crazy. 
I hope that makes sense. I hope I didn't over explain it because I will do that, but I'm sorry. I'm working on it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you start to let yourself be imperfect because everybody else is. Everybody else is doing whatever they want to do and they're not trying so hard to be perfect. So why do you feel like you need to be like that? And that is shadow work. That's a great shadow work prompt for whoever this is for. Write that down. Why do I feel like I need to be perfect all the time? Where did my need for perfection come from? That's a great shadow work prompt, okay? But I love you and I love you exactly how you are. And I hope you start to love yourself for who you are as well. Mm -hmm.